Understanding breast cancer, empowering women with knowledge. Breast cancer affects millions of women around the world, and being informed about its risk factors, symptoms, and screening methods is crucial for early detection and prevention. Join us as we explore the key aspects of breast cancer to empower you with the knowledge you need. Hello, this is Dr. Tharwat Gatas, and I am an assistant professor of hematology oncology. I'm here to talk to you about breast cancer, risk factors, screening, diagnosis, and more. My goal is that through this video, you'll gain the knowledge and empowerment needed to take control of your health. Did you know that breast cancer is the most common cancer among women globally? According to the World Health Organization, the lifetime risk of developing breast cancer varies from country to country. However, statistics show that approximately 1 in 8 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer during their lifetime. Breast cancer affects not only those who are newly diagnosed, but also millions of women who have successfully battled the disease. Currently, there are over 3.8 million women living with breast cancer in the United States alone, and this number continues to rise. Understanding the factors associated with higher and lower risk of breast cancer is essential for women's health. Let's explore these factors together. Several factors contribute to a higher risk of breast cancer. First and foremost, age plays a significant role. The risk of breast cancer increases as women get older. Family history is another important factor. If a close relative, such as a mother, sister, or daughter, has had breast cancer, the risk is higher. Certain genetic mutations, such as BRCA1 and BRCA2, also increase the risk. Other factors include a personal history of breast abnormalities or cancer, exposure to high levels of estrogen, dense breast tissue, early onset of menstruation or late menopause, use of hormone replacement therapy, and leading a sedentary lifestyle. On the other hand, there are factors associated with a lower risk of breast cancer. Maintaining a healthy weight is crucial. Regular physical activity not only helps with weight management, but also reduces the risk of breast cancer. Breastfeeding is protective against breast cancer, especially if done for an extended period. Limiting alcohol consumption is important too. Women who consume less alcohol have a lower risk of breast cancer. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables and avoiding tobacco are also associated with a lower risk. Breast cancer screening is crucial for early detection and improved outcomes. Let's explore the most common method and the recommended age to start screening. The most common method of breast cancer screening is mammography. It's a low-dose x-ray of the breast that can detect early signs of cancer, such as small lumps or abnormal changes in breast tissue. When should you start breast cancer screening? The recommended age to begin mammography screening varies depending on guidelines and individual risk factors. In general, women with average risk should consider starting regular mammograms in their 40s. It's important to remember that these guidelines may vary depending on personal and family medical history. Consult with your healthcare provider to determine the best screening schedule for you. Let's explore some of the ways breast cancer manifests. While breast cancer can manifest differently for each individual, there are some common signs and symptoms to be aware of. These include a lump or thickening in the breast or armpit, changes in breast size or shape, nipple changes, such as inversion or discharge, and skin changes, like redness or dimpling. In the United States, most cases diagnosed after abnormal mammogram. However, up to 15% of women are diagnosed with breast cancer due to the presence of a breast mass that is not detected on mammogram. Let's talk about most common tests needed to diagnose breast cancer. If breast cancer is suspected, further diagnostic tests will be recommended to confirm the presence of cancerous cells. These tests may include a breast ultrasound, magnetic resonance imaging (MRI), or a biopsy, where a small tissue sample is taken for examination. These tests help doctors accurately diagnose breast cancer and determine the stage and the most appropriate treatment options. The good news is, there have been remarkable advances in breast cancer treatment options. 
Targeted therapies, such as HER2-targeted drugs, hormone therapies, and immunotherapies, have revolutionized the way we approach breast cancer treatment. Transforming battles into victories, one patient at a time. Tharwat Gattas, MD.